Welcome back, everybody, to Airships. Draytardia is slowly taking over this world, and hopefully we can do a little bit more today in this very awesome game. Now, if you are just joining us, feel free to go check out the first episode. Link will be in the description. But we are playing some more Airships today. More specifically, we're doing the Conquest mode, and Draytardia has just taken his first city. We got Kirkumfirum. So today, we're going to expand on that. We have a spy active at Gomdat right now. I actually forget what's in this city. I think he just, yeah, he has a bunch of biplanes, and that is it. These things weren't that bad to me, so we might actually want to go across the river here and focus on that. Before we do that, though, I think I should really start focusing on my defenses. We're getting a little bit of money, as you can see. We should probably utilize that money by expanding out, first of all, Drake's Hardia. So we're going to go to defenses right now. Uh, right now, we got all our ships. Well, actually, we only got two ships here. Where's my other... Oh, yeah, the, the other one died. R rest in peace. Totally forgot about that, but uh, we're going to be doing a new building here. Now, we can design a building. We can also build land ships here. Um, let's go to build a building. I think there's going to be uh, ones that are already built here. I don't want to go too deep into the buildings, at least today. So we're just going to use one of these pre-built ones and uh, keep the crows. Interesting. Well, yeah, but we're just going to use one of these pre-built ones uh, so we have a little bit more defense. Now, we got a little over a grand right now, I believe, so... We don't want to go to the Silent Watcher. I mean, we, I kind of want the Silent Watcher. You know what? Now that I've seen it, I need to have it. So we're going to open this bad boy up, and uh, yeah, we'll put the Watcher... Do I want to put it right in the back? The, my, my logic is the less chance I can have of people getting behind this thing, the better. So yeah, we're going to put that there, and we're going to move this up a little bit so these things are nice and spread out. Uh, and there we go. At least now our main base is a little bit better. So we're going to... Leave that, and I believe that's how it works, right? Yes, it's going to build the Silent Watcher now. Uh, so there we go. A little bit more defense, at least for our main base. We don't want to lose that, obviously. All right, so yeah, we're building that. Now, where should we start today? I think we should probably take over one more island, or why am I calling them islands? One more city? Uh, then I want to actually build another ship. I like our ship, but it can't go high enough, and I want to try and maybe build a bomber or something. So... Let's actually, we got $1,000 right now. We're going to build ship, and again, we're going to stick with the Newbington. It's not the greatest design, but hey, it's, it's, it's our starting fleet. So we're going to build one more of those, and are we going to have enough money to build another one by the time this is built? It looks like we're going to be close. It takes about 700 something, and yeah, we're going to build one more. So we have a fleet of three with our starting ship as well, so we can build that again. And, of course, we are going to be doing that. So, there we go. We got two SS Newbingtons coming up. Uh, we'll keep the rest of our money for later. Research has been complete for the Advanced Explosive Rocket. So, now we can select our next research. Let me actually just leave this in case... I just want to make sure it pauses when we're in the research tab. Last thing I want is to be attacked while we're looking through this. All right, next up, we have an ore option here. So you cannot get everything in this game. This is pretty cool. So we can have 25% extra ammo storage or negative 74% ammo storage flammability. Ooh, I really like the idea of having safe ammo stowage because ammo is one of your most risky things that can explode. So I'm kind of thinking I might do this first and take our time on the flamethrowers. Don't get me wrong. Flamethrower is going to be really, really fun, but uh, I want to play it safe. So, yeah, let's let's do this one next. And, uh, yeah, the one thing we have to worry about is what our opposition is building. Because if they can research up the tech trees really quickly, that's when bad things are going to happen. So, what is going on over at Gomdad? I don't know why it has, uh, like, a, a bar on it. Not really sure what that means. I guess he's going to come back after that. Now, what I'm going to do, let's actually go check this one. We're going to send another spy here. We're going to view the city. Okay, so this one looks pretty easy. We do not have any ships here we got to worry about. Just another base. Looks like it's got four cannons on it, which is a decent amount. Uh, but not nothing that I'm too scared about. So, with that in mind, once this Newbington is built, we are going to get that because we have to start worrying about income. If these guys are earning more income than me, that means they're building bigger ships than me, and that's a bad thing. So... Bringing all my ships. I guess we'll bring them all. Why are some left and some right? I have no idea. Doesn't matter, though. So we're going to invade Arctum. And uh, hopefully I don't regret this. I don't see any ships flying around. So I think we're okay. I don't think we're going to be attacked right now. And a fire caused by a foreign agent has destroyed the fragrant of Grey Pillar at Vaxenford. You may need to strengthen your empire's secret police through the empire's details screen. What? 
What just happened? All right, so that's a problem. I think it actually did it destroy. Let's just uh, hit OK here. Uh, no, OK. Well, we got to do that in a second, but I want to see... Oh, I guess this is the fight. I was trying to look at my actual city, but I guess we'll do this fight first. Uh, I guess I probably brought too many ships for this fight, but you know what? We, we, we want to make sure we win this one. I think I might just chill back here. You know what? No, let's just move up. Why not, right? All right, so I didn't show this, but you can actually connect to multiple units and move all of them at the same time. For some reason, I guess that's still on cooldown. Sometimes you can't move them right away. So we're going to move our ships up here, though. Uh, let them go into the to the front lines here, and let's just go back to play. Again, this should be an easy defeat. What? Oh, they just said, screw it! You can have it! Okay, that's the way I like to fight, man. When I don't have to lose anything, that is great. So that's so cool that the AI is smart enough to know, hey, we're just gonna freaking die here, let's run away. Alright, so now that we did that, I think we're gonna do a gentle takeover then, because, uh, obviously that thing's just fine. So if we can't just if we don't need to destroy it, let's not. A slow and gentle transfer of power that leaves the city mostly intact. So yeah, that sounds good. Now this is something that we got problems with, so let's go to defenses here. Yeah, look, look at these. What, what did you do, you jerks?! Alright, so obviously we're gonna scrap this thing because, uh, that guy destroyed it, and we're gonna design- Well, no, I don't want- I don't want to design! Problem is, that's gonna be a full episode of me designing a building. We'll get into the building designs later, but for right now, I think we're okay with this. So, defensive structure, 17, Sentinel. That's all we can afford? Oh, man, we really don't have too much money right now. So, for right now, we're gonna get the bottom of the barrel and at least put this here. But, uh, yeah, we're definitely gonna have to get some more there, and hopefully we get more really, really soon. Alright, let's bring our ships back. Actually, do we wanna keep them here? Maybe we can take out this whole guy. Before we do that, no, I'm getting too far ahead of myself. I wanna design a better ship, because our ship's not great right now. So we're gonna go back to Draytardia here, uh, make sure my main base is safe, and we are going to design ship. Now, what I wanna try and do now is a really light, focused design that's a bomber. I want to go as high in the air as possible and just sit up there safely and bomb down uh, against the other people. By the way, I didn't even notice you can name your ships here, so we're going to call this the DG Bomber, because that's exactly what it is. <laughs> so let's start with the weapons. We have bomb bays here. Now, I don't know how many I want. I'm thinking we probably want quite a few, and you know what? That's actually a bad idea. We're going to spread these out. So we're going to put one here, and those use two pixels. So how much in terms of ammo? Well, we need ammo, and what I want to do is kind of put the ammo in the middle of everything. So that should be in resources. We got an ammo store here. That can hold 100 ammo. I don't know how much we're going to need, though. So I think I'm actually going to do... Problem is, I wanted this thing to be light, and now I'm looking at it like it's going to be really heavy. So let's just do one ammo for right now. When it comes to resources, I don't really know how much we need. It doesn't actually say how much it uses, like, a minute. Um, does it say that anymore? Splash distance. Reload times five seconds, so I guess you could do the math. It takes one shot and reload times five seconds, so we're using basically almost one ammo a second. So we should have 100 seconds of ammo or two minutes of fight time. That's not really that much, so uh, we might have to work on that later, but for right now, that's what we're going to do. And we also, I didn't even notice we had rockets. Not only any rocket, but a MASSIVE rocket! So we might have to play with those later, but for right now, I'm, I just want to build a little bomber, man. So that's what we're going to be doing. Alright, so we're going to get some command and crew. Now, I should mention, if you guys are trying to follow this to get some information about it, command and crew is not to be confused with troops. Troops will actually guard your ship, I believe, from attack. So if you try and get boarded, for example, you're going to want some troops to fight off enemies. Uh, but we're not going to be doing any of that. We're just going to have our quarters here. And for right now, we're probably only going to need one. Actually, recommended crew is already 14. So we're going to do two quarters then. And next up, we need lift. What I think I'm going to do is these dust tanks. Now, they are... Actually rather heavy, so it might actually be smarter to do the suspendium chamber uh, Generates 2,000 lift. How much does this generate? Generates 2,200 lift. Okay. No, we're, screw it. We're, we're gonna try these things. I have no idea how these work, but we're, we're, we're gonna figure it out, damn it. Oh, it looks like we can actually just connect it to it, so we could just do that. I'm actually gonna move these out of the way for right now, though, because we're gonna put this right at the top of the ship, so we'll deal with this later. Um, what we're also going to need is obviously to finish this up, so 
ship has several disconnected parts you don't say. The ship has no propulsion, so we're going to need that, and the ship needs more supply hatches. So how do I want to do the propulsion? You know what? I think we will put a propeller on this one. So we're going to put a propeller in the back here, and there we go. Now, this is going to look like a blimp, basically. This is going to be cool. Now, also, we need um, a supply hatch, which has a perfect spot for one right here. So we'll throw that in there like so. Uh, ship has no coal. That's one I forgot was the damn coal. So actually, it's in resources. And coal store. So coal is needed to power the suspendium chambers and propellers. Oh, okay. So it's going to be propellers that we're going to need coal for. So we're going to bring this back. And because I don't think we need it for the suspendium dust. So hopefully we don't because it's going to be a long travel time if we do. So there we go. We got coal right to our uh, propeller and we might actually be able to put another one of these on here, which we might do. Let's actually do that. The, the higher we can go, the better. What the surface ceiling? I'll say, okay, surface ceiling is really, really high right now. It looks like it maxes possibly out at 600. Nope, it's still going up. So if we can put another one of these in. Oh, that's a big one though. I mean, there's these guys here, but this is this is way smaller. So I think I'm just gonna keep it uh, actually like this. I don't I don't think we need to go higher than 400 meters. I mean, that is really really high. Pathing looks rather good. One thing I'd like to do, just because I want to make sure my pathing is really really good. If we go to basic here, we're gonna put a corridor right here like so, and then we're going to put a corridor with ladder connecting these two together. So now we can go all the way throughout the ship. Um, we still can go 416 meters in the air. Let's get rid of these overlays real quick. Oh, cannot give commands. I forgot a command post. Okay, so we're gonna put a little cockpit, and I guess that's gonna go right on the front of the ship. We gotta remember, this thing's gonna be high in the air, so chances are when it comes to defenses, this is not gonna be too bad at all. Now, let's move on. Um, do I want to design this one a little bit? Because, well, we're getting into the money territory, so we can do that if we want to. So let's go to shapes and... See if we can maybe make this thing look a little bit more royal. All right, well, we can add some wood up here. Ah, uh, there we go. That's looking fantastic already. I really want to put, like, a dragon on it or something. That is... Oh, you can just actually attach it like that. Okay, so that's cool. You can attach it to whatever you want, then. Um, can we attach... Whoa! That is an ugly figurehead. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm not actually really liking the look of the figurehead, so we're going to move away from that. Um, can we put a little... Oh, I can't even put anything there? I wonder why I can't... Oh, it has to be looking... It can't be... That's so weird. It can't be blocked by the blimp, I guess. So I guess that's all we're going to do for right now. If we didn't have the uh, propeller here, we'd be able to design a little bit more. We'll get more into the designing later on. We really got to focus just on weapons right now. Uh, and with that in mind, I feel like maybe four isn't enough. But hey, we'll try it out and see. Now let's move on to armor. Now... The benefit being, uh, we don't really have to focus on defenses right now, so I'm actually going to move over to steel, which is so weird saying that. We're moving from steel to wood, and it's less defensive. This is going to increase the service ceiling, though, and it's also going to make it lighter, which is increasing the service ceiling. So there we go. Uh, this is a weird thing to see. A blimp that's made out of metal. Can I make this metal? No, I can't make the propeller metal, unfortunately. We can also paint it, by the way, so let's actually do that. Alright, so you can fill this, so it looks like, yeah, we could just fill it with all these random colors. Oddly weird color choices here. I wish there was a color wheel or something, obviously, but, uh, hey, beggars can't be choosers. Okay, I'm gonna do purple and black, or second arms color, as it's called. And we're just gonna put a black line up here, like so, and there we go! That's it! Actually, that's not it. Let's also get some decorations here. Let's, uh, you know, let's kit this thing out. Oh, we can actually look at this. I bet I can put this thing right on the front. Oh, yes. Now, can we have a little ordinary gold leaf for the back? Doesn't really look like it, but we could do these things. So if we do that one and this one, I mean, hey, that looks kind of nice at least. You know, gives it a little bit of class when you're destroying your opponents from the skies. So I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, uh, can we put our decal? Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, look at that. We have our coat of arms right here. Mind you, it's too big, but if we put it there... Oh, yeah. I'm, I can't put it there. What? That sucks. All right, so we're gonna have to go to the small coat of arms here and put it kind of boringly in the middle of the ship somewhere. So there we go. We got the DG Bomber. We're gonna save this design and save it up, and now we can actually build this thing and see if it's any good. I hope it is, because uh, it took a while to build it. So build ship and... Uh, we should really get rid of some of these things, so let's actually do that. So for right now, I'm only gonna use 
things that I build, aside from the uh, actual bases. So I'm going to get rid of all these suggested builds here. And what I want you guys to do, if you guys are playing this game, is build something for this playthrough. If you put it on the Steam Workshop, I can download it and bring it into all of my games. So if you put Dre in the title, or Dregast, or DG, I'll be able to find it easily. And yeah, if you guys want to build a ship for this playthrough, I would love for you guys to join in and uh, do that. Because don't get me wrong, these pre-builts are really nice if you're just starting out the game. But uh, I'd rather get your ships in here, see what you guys can make, and uh, join me on my conquest to victory here. So there we go. We got just the things that I made. And uh, oddly enough, oh, actually, the SS Newbington is still the most expensive. But we are going to build the DG Bomber. Now, we can only build one for right now. I want to build at least a couple of those in my fleet and, uh, yeah, I guess next up, we should probably, I think we're gonna try and take Al out. I mean, then we have the side of the map, we have two cities close by each other. Uh, what is this? Lick Conquers. I have no idea, this is obviously a land-based unit. Is it just troops? Alright, I have no idea what those guys are doing. We're gonna have to watch out for those, though. You, you never know when they're gonna attack. And build one more DG Bomber, so that's going to give us a lot of ships to deal with here. So we're going to speed this up, get this done real quick. And, oh, did he just... That, that wasn't mine, no. But what is this guy do? Look at this. Oh, man. He has... We're going to have to worry about this guy. He's, he's right on my border, too. So I think I might leave Al alone for a little bit, because he's not really a threat. This guy, I think we're going to have to push back. I didn't realize how much he's taken. I haven't really looked at the opposition that's far away. Looks like this island is conquered just by one guy. Oh, this guy's got this island, but this guy, this is his final zone. So I'm going to uh, see what happens here. We got, what the hell is that? Oh, man. Okay, so these guys are going to fight. Oh, this is great for me. I'm actually going to send a spy here, and I want to see what they got going on. So all he has is whatever the hell these things are. I didn't even know this with my spy. I can actually spend money to uh, either bribe these guys to maybe join me or destroy them. That is so cool. Uh, but I'm going to see what happens when um, these guys fight. So it looks like the fight's already done. Hard to say, but how are they doing? Okay, so they still have all three of these things. I have no idea what these things are. I'm not really comfortable fighting them. So instead, I think I might, let's actually send a spy over to this. We're going to view this city. This, yeah, this is, there's nothing here. So he's leaving these things undefended. So what we're going to do is hit up these ones first so he stops earning as much money. Because the big thing I'm worried about right now is his money. Um, now, how do I leave one here? Okay, so it looks like I can, yeah, I can highlight these things and choose which ones I want to move. We're just going to move all mine. I'm going to leave this one here. It's a decent-sized one, and we are going to invade this little city here. So, uh-oh. Is he going back to it? He is! Oh, no. Okay, so can I actually, you know what? I'm going to invade this city then. See you Oh, oh. <laughs> now we're playing a game of musical chairs, and it looks like I can't choose now, so... Huh, I hope these guys are easy because uh, this is going to be interesting. These things look really, really light, too. So what I'm going to do is move my bombers way in the back here. Where's their... It doesn't even show where their uh, top is, but it's probably going to be really high. So we're going to move those things high into the sky. Now, this thing, we have our limitation already here. So we're just going to uh, try and build, like, a wall of these like that. And hopefully this goes well. I'm actually going to move these a bit back so the Ark can hopefully shoot these guys before they get too close. And yeah, this is going to be our first real fight. He doesn't have anything on the ground. No buildings at all. So this is an air fight, quite literally. So we're going to pause time. And what I'm going to want to do... Can I move these already? I can move them already. So I'm going to bring this guy up as high as we can. We're going to bring this guy not only up, but straight over and hopefully above these guys, kind of. We'll just bring it up here like so, and we'll go back to hitting play here, because I want to see what these guys do. I need to get up really high. Oh, these are bombers as well! Okay, this is a bomber-on-bomber -bomber fight. Now, this is obviously a problem. Let's uh try and pull back, keep these guys moving so they have a hard time bombing me. Uh, did that actually move them? I don't think it did. Yeah, unfortunately, we're still waiting for some of these things to move. Looks like I was able to get these guys. Now, my bombers, we need to get on top of these guys, man. Uh, why is this guy not dropping? I haven't actually looked. Oh, yeah, he's dropping. He's aiming. 
And benefit being, we're way higher in the sky. These things are going to have a hard time dealing with this, though. So we're going to move this, try and spread these out as much as possible. And keep these guys busy trying to aim at these things. So there we go. These guys up here, we need to get these right on top of these things. This is going to be great for me. Check out this. There we go. Drop those bombs on them, boys. We're higher than them. And that's where you want to be with bombers. Oh, man. Come on. Hit them. Yes! Oh, look at that hit. That was beautiful. And out of the sky he goes. He can't get my bombers, man. I'm too high. That That's the benefit. With bombers, you need to go as high as possible. Because if you're higher than the other bombers, then they are totally screwed. There we go. And honestly, my first ship is just made to be a meat cannon, basically. Uh, the more damage we can do to it, the better. Okay, so he's going to move over try and kill this guy. I'm just going to let these guys kind of chill here. Let's bring and follow right to the top of him. And it looks like my two ships went down. Not a big deal, though, because uh, I, I got some better ships up in the sky here. All right. Looks like I have to get right below him. So there we go. Drop those bombs on him. Yes. Oh, they, they have a blast radius. So is he actually smart enough to drop down knowing that I can't get him down here? Is it damaging him? Okay, so I, I think if we just wait here, we should be good. Oh, look at that. He actually surrendered. Uh, and look at the stats here. No crew quarters. So that one was still actually flying, which is this one here. So I think we might be able to save that one, possibly. The only one that was totally destroyed was one. We made one of his immobile and destroyed the other one. And Brave... The Brave surrendered. I love it. Can't get a better name for a ship that surrenders. The Brave. All right, there we go. And yeah, we actually lost all three of our Newbington. So I guess when you lose your command quarters, you can't actually bring the ship back either. So that was actually a pretty bad fight for me. I did lose a lot. We're going to do a brutal takeover because there's nothing there anyways. And he's pushing back. So, <gasps> ooh, um, okay. He's going to probably go for this thing. Get there, get there, get there. Yes! Th did I make it? Oh, please tell me. I didn't make it? Are you serious? This is real bad for me, guys. This is a bomber. That means he can go right on top of me, and I can't do crap. I'm gonna rapid fire him to the best of my ability. Ooh, these bombs are gonna hurt, though, man. Yeah, there's no way we're going to be able to take on these bombs, I don't think. I've been surprised before, though, so let's give it a chance and see what happens here. I do have some little guns here, it looks like, that are shooting directly up. Looks like they're just ba basically rifles, though, so we're done. We are seriously done. We have nothing left, so he's going to take this. I took one of his, and he took one of mine. I mean, that's going to be probably the most common way to do this is uh, to fight back once they attack. So, wait, what? Brave, what are you doing? What the frick are you doing, Brave? I honestly don't know why I'm getting mad at him for being so stupid, because that only helps me, but he surrendered when he clearly won. Like, what the hell? Brave. All right, well, I'll see you later, Brave. Thanks for doing that, I guess. You can go back there. We have to be very quick on moving my ships over, though. That's that's what I, I've, I've learned. This city has no defense buildings. To fix this, click on and choose defenses. Let's actually do that because he clearly likes to attack me. So we're just going to do the Keep of Crows. This one looks pretty good. A good all-arounder, as you can see. And we'll put it right up there, and we are good to go. So leave that. I don't want to spend too much money on defenses right now, because it looks like we're going to have to spend a lot of money attacking. Okay, he's going to go over and take out a coal. That actually will be good for me. Okay, so let's actually see. Uh, we're going to send a spy to that. View the city. See what he's got going on. Oh, this is, this is our time to, to attack. So I got how many ships down here? I got my two bombers. That I actually might be able to take it on with the two bombers, and that's it. So, actually, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do that. I'm going to risk it here. No, actually, let's just move these things together. So, we're going to move this over. And now we are going to invade. He's infiltrating. He hasn't infiltrated yet. I'm going to take this from him because, uh, yeah, this is, this is the guy I have to worry about. So, all he has is that one ship here, and that's it. He invaded it. He took it over, and I took it from him because I'm that guy. Uh, I'm not even going to be able to shoot with this guy, but that's totally fine. Because once these guys learn how to aim, <laughs> we might actually be able to get this done. You know what? Actually, this is a pretty big ship, though. I don't want to lose it. I feel like this is a good idea, though. We'll see if we can survive it. There we go. It's all we need is a good few bombs. All right, we actually got to move this up ahead a little bit. So we're going to just ever so slightly move these guys forward. So we're right on top of them. And we're going to do that just like that. Perfect. Okay, back to play. And this might be stupid. I feel like I'm wasting a ship here, but I really don't want to risk 
uh, moving around too much. And I think, oh, oh, it's taking me down with it. Nope, we're good. See you later. Did you actually see that? It actually destroys the ground a little bit too, so there's terraforming in this game. Oh, crap. There's no crew quarters now. So I'm thinking we lost that ship, and that was actually a really good starting ship, so uh, we might have to take our time here. The problem is this guy's moving so quickly, he's making me nervous, man. Uh, this city has no defensive buildings. Yeah, we know. Um, we are going to do a brutal takeover because it's already gone, man. I don't know why you wouldn't. All right, well, we're keeping him at bay. That's the good thing right now. I Basically, all I'm doing right now is trying to keep this guy busy. Okay, we got 1,300. We, got, we have to keep building ships. Um, man, I kind of want to make a land ship now, but I, I'm going to need more ships, so we're actually going to do... I feel like the SS Newington is just too much money for how good it is, and it's not good at all, by what I mean. All right, let's build a couple more of these. We're going to build one for right now. Uh, I'll probably try and build a better ship uh, once we get a couple more researches done, because I really want to get to the rockets before I start designing another ship. Okay, enemy is moving in. I like that it warns me, so it looks like he's going to head out to this. I have a problem here. I can't, I can't get over to that quickly. So... I don't think I'm going to be able to get there. I'm going to try to, though. We'll see. Yeah, he's going to beat me by far. And it looks like we got another fight. All I got on this one is this little new tower that I built, so I'm not feeling good about this at all. Uh, I have no idea what kind of weapons he has. We can see two things out the front. I'm assuming it's another bomber. It, I mean, that, that, that would only make sense. So hopefully we can do this okay. I really do need, like, anti-air or something because I don't have any of that. Oh, yeah, it's a bomber for sure. Just the way he's moving. Yep. And that's bad because this is, like, the perfect building to bomb. Look at this. I have no... no I can't do anything. Unfortunately, he's going to take this one back. And I can't do a damn thing about it. Unless he surrenders stupidly again. I mean, we've seen that happen before. Doesn't look like it's going to happen this time, though. He's taking it out. And uh, he's pushing me back now. Great. Okay, let's not... No, let's just move this back to my base. And get ready to attack anything that he tries to take back. He's earning so much more money than me. That's that's the worry right now. Is I'm just going to get overrun by this, the size of his. So while I'm busy fighting this, I'm actually going to build a bomber over on Al Akol. And I'm going to try and take this other area. Because I need to start earning more money. Thankfully, Wombaton seems to be smart and is not attacking me right now. Um, so... I'm going to try and take out alts here. That way I earn some more money. A fire caused by a foreign agent has destroyed the white lookout at Pinsy. Man, this is getting ridiculous. I'm going to have to increase my security, I think. Looks like we also have enemy fleet uh, going to an area. Is it Pinsy? I think it is Pinsy. So we're going to have to move my dudes over there. Oh my god, I'm so much slower! Uncontested defeat. Are you si I was right by it. No, don't. Damn it! Now I'm going to have to take it back. I didn't mean to mo continue moving over there, but I didn't have enough time to stop. Uh, damn it! That really, really sucks. Okay, what do we got? I mean, we'll be able to win this one. That's, that's, that's the good thing. So let's move this. Actually, we can use this to our advantage, and we can hide right below it. Okay, so let's let him come over. See if he tries to bomb me. I don't think it's going to go well for you, bud, because I have... Oh... What? Did you? Come on! I can't. I can't use the land to hide from. Oh, that's a little lame. Okay, well, that's a problem then. We're going to have to. I've already lost my mass, so I can't even use this anyways. It's it's an unmovable target. So again, we're just gonna use it as bait because I have no choice. I, I thought the land would be enough to save me, but clearly I was mistaken. Okay, move these guys up and get them down. Get them down. Come on. I wish we could work on the accuracy of our bombing runs. They're not the greatest here. Let's, uh, can we bring these guys back yet? No, we can't. It's not looking good for him anyways. Did he take down my thing? Yes, he did. So I lost that, unfortunately. It's a little bit sad. But these bombers are working just like I wanted them to. They're in the safety of the skies. And we won that one. So there we go. Research complete. Safe ammo storage. There we go. Now we're going to select the next research. So let's select that. And this is where we're going to get into the interesting stuff. So we have budget research over here. Uh, we can actually make like research programs. Empire of Science. I'm not really sure. I'm assuming we add more of our budget to do this. And uh, we haven't really gotten to, into budgets yet. So I'm going to actually 
keep going down this tree. It's very hard to tell where we've went, though. I don't like that. But uh, what we've done so far is all the way up to safer ammo stowage. And just looking past flamethrowers, we have biplanes and bombers. So uh, whoever we fought recently that had the biplanes, they're already all the way over here, which is scaring me a little bit. And then we can get to cybernetics for aerial torpedoes. So yeah, flamethrowers is next. Now we're getting to, into the fun stuff. And... He's pushed back once again, but we're going to be constantly fighting this guy, so I'm trying to do too many fights all at once here. So how many do I got right here? I got two DG Bombers, and then I have one DG Bomber over here. I'm going to move these two back to Draytardia, and how much money do we got? We got 901 right now, so we're going to build another uh, Newbington. And while that Newbington's being built, I am just going to straight up invade this guy. I am assuming he doesn't have really anything over here. And being that I'm a bomber, I should be able to take out uh, buildings very, very easily. So yeah, he's just got one little building. Uh, this is going to be a very easy fight to do. So I'm good to go. We're going to start. And immediately we are going to move over. And I don't even think he can shoot me. I don't think he's got guns or anything. So we're just going to get nice and high in the sky and bomb this place. And there we go. Hey, what's up, dude? Having fun down there? I bet you're not. <laughs> oh, you poor, poor souls. You don't even know where I am right now. This feels great. I'm really glad I decided to do bombers because these things are really, really fun. It's fun the way they explode, too. They do a lot of damage. And, oh, wait, what are they doing? Oh, they're working on repairing in there. Look at them. Oh, this is so cool to actually watch them. We just killed one. <laughs> He's sideways. You got a fire down below, guys. Yeah, this ain't going well for you, is it? Let's actually just go all the way to max speed and let this happen really, really quickly. Not the most accurate. I will say that. Bombers are definitely not the most accurate, but we did it, and that just means more money for us. So we're going to do a brutal takeover here, and I think we're just going to continue moving this way. So let's actually send a spy here and see what he's got going on. Uh, so yeah, all he has is this little thing. So right away, we're going to invade another area. Actually, where is he going? Um, Arctum maybe, or Pinsy? Well, you know what? I think he's probably gonna move to Pinsy, so... Oh my god, I'm so slow! I hate, I hate, I hate you. So, oh god. Okay, no, let's move this back. And I'm gonna have to fight this guy. But we're going to attack this one first, so... Okay, so we don't have to worry about the land. We gotta remember that, so we're just going to do this real quick again. I mean, we've seen how these fights work before. Pretty damn easy way to win. Oh, 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 he's shooting me. I don't care enough, to be honest. Let's just get through it and quickly get over there. He shouldn't hit too much anyways, and there we go. He's screwed. All right, much more accurate this time, too. We got dead guys there. I think I just saw a guy fly away. That was... Oh, my God. Yeah, there's definitely flying, fly, flaming guys going everywhere. All right, you might want to get the right side. No, just going to keep going for the left side. That's all right. We won it anyways. And, uh, yeah, we're putting the pressure on Wobbiton just because Green's putting the pressure on me. I don't have much of a choice. Um, how much do I got here now? Okay, so what we're going to do is invade this area now. And we're going to do a brutal takeover of this one. So I'm trying to push back Green the best I can. Looks like he's getting into some... Cr what the hell is this little thing? I love the look of this guy's designs. I don't know if they're good or not. But they look freaking awesome. All right, so we're going to move these guys. I mean, you guys see how this works now. Oh, crap. I was trying to do both. Use the uh, little ship as bait. The odd thing is this ship's more expensive than my bombers. So it's, it's very hard to tell why this thing's so expensive. But, yeah, we're going to start it up. And, again, get nice and high in the sky and hang out and hope this strategy works again. I don't know what this other new ship is, so... A little bit worrisome, but we're actually doing a lot of damage here. we got to remember as well, I'm technically more defensed than he is. So what I'm going to do is actually push ahead. Oh, man, I should have pushed ahead quicker. Oh, my God, that just freaking destroyed me. Uh, yeah, I was going to try and avoid his bombs. It didn't go so well, though. There we go, though. That's what I'm talking about. I don't know what we hit there, but it really affected him, and I don't think he has... Oh, he does have a way to put out uh, fire. Okay, where's this other little ship? Okay, that one's totally destroyed. I think I actually... Amazingly, this ship's still able to fight. I don't think this ship is doing anything, so let's... Oh, yeah, victory. We did it. I'm assuming we did it. Okay, yeah, there we go. Dauntless de decided to surrender, and once again, we lost another Newbington. That That's a common occurrence, though. All right, and once again, we pushed him back, so this is a constant tug-of-war between me and... Uh, What's this guy called, anyways? The Cubis. The bastard Cubis. And Black Dragons. Oh! Okay, so there's our first creature that I saw. We got Cultist over here. 
I was wondering where these things are because there's more than just fighting cities. You can actually kill monsters for unique rewards too. So it's pretty damn cool. But I think we're going to wrap up this one here, guys. It's going... Well, it's hard to say how it's going. We're clearly... Uh, gonna have a three-way war here. I, I think I'm actually at the lower end of, uh, the actual map here in terms of having most of it. We got this guy, Crow Lantern. I guess this is a different guy over here, Thamel. Uh, myself, Wombaton's just holding on, and the big guy is Cubis. Says he partly recovered from the war, so hopefully not enough to actually take me over. So next time, we're gonna see where this thing goes. Uh, again, this is my first war, so this is actually going quite well for me. I didn't think I'd last this long. Uh, so yeah, I'm having a great time, and I hope you guys are as well. Once again, this was Airships Conquer the Skies. I hope you guys are enjoying it. And yeah, if you guys have any suggestions on how I can do better, I'm always reading the comments. Thanks so much for watching and liking, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.